everyone, Monroe Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and the Paris Fashion Week vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. Y'all, I'm so excited to be here. We are back in Paris and it's already feeling like my second home. I need to get a little pet a tear here. Um, I've actually been here a full day. I got in yesterday from Milan. Um, I I think this is my third time staying here at this hotel at Alfred Sommier. I love it. The rooms are huge. The price is great. Um, the breakfast is delicious. The service is impeccable. And it's in a really great location. It's very close in walking distance to pretty much everything, including the Tuileries Garden, um, as well as like all of the shops. Like right around the corner is Galleries Lafayette and Printemps and yeah it's amazing the location cannot be beat so we are back here i've stayed here a, quite a few times and i've stayed in different rooms every single time this time i'm in a two bedroom junior suite uh, because of course maria will be joining me and helping me to get content for you guys and so there's a little room for her and then there's a master or a primary suite for me uh, so what i'll do in case you're new here and even if you aren't new here you haven't seen how this type of room looks i think i've stayed in a suite i've stayed in like every room they, <laughs> they have so if you're interested in the different rooms they have just check out my paris fashion week vlogs but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and roll the footage to give you guys a look at the hotel the grounds and then my room and then we will come back and we will check so let's roll that beautiful alfred sommier footage
you guys i hope you enjoyed my the hotel in the room tour all of the details are down below um also my girl karen is always staying at this hotel as well so it'll be nice to connect with her while i'm here uh, maria is flying in today and today i don't have much to do i need to probably shoot a few looks in advance um, i also need to shoot a campaign for a hair brand um, that i'll be partnering with and also i need to shoot an outfit for ukes so i already showed you guys the pieces that i got from ukes but i need to create a reel and shoot like some street style photos for that uh and then for the events i may have a show today i'm still waiting to hear back uh, and also I have a like book signing with uh, LV, um, Louis Vuitton, and then a little party with Uniqlo. So it'll be a fun evening. And of course, I'm going to take y'all with me. I've unpacked all my things. Um, so this morning, I actually went down to breakfast. They have the best breakfast here. I don't know how they make these like eggs, but the eggs are so delicious when i tell you i made it my business to wake up and go down and eat breakfast today uh, because i was up until about mm, 4 a.m trying to get the notes to my editor for the milan vlog and it was intense and i was falling asleep but yeah <laughs> i'll roll that footage for you all so you can see what breakfast looks like what they offer um and then we will come back and get ready for the day <laughs> like dining area they also have a little bar which you would have seen um, when I did the hotel tour but it's just a stunning hotel there's little nooks and crannies everywhere to take beautiful photos and my room for the first time of me staying here actually has a balcony oh it's so beautiful when it's about two three o'clock the sun is on this side of the building um where I am in the hotel it's west facing so yeah I get a lot of light in the morning not so much it's kind of dull right now I actually think I preferred the other side of the hotel because I can see the Eiffel Tower I, I was in the fifth floor in room I believe like 5a last time and I could see the Eiffel Tower and I got great like light all day because I had southern I mean I had eastern facing windows and western facing windows but this is cool because now this evening I could probably shoot some cool like balcony photos so yeah I'm gonna get myself together I already have on just a basic face today with a little Dior lip glow oil in rosewood so so refreshing and nice and my little skims how stressed I'll wear this down and break this today with my Saint Laurent jacket but I'm about to just put on an everyday chill outfit and I'm gonna head over to Galleries Lafayette I actually went yesterday you can see <laughs> these a few bags here this pink bag and I bought a few things um, I'm gonna hold off on showing you what I got um, you'll probably see me wear it but I saw so many good things there but I went just as they were closing like I only had an hour to browse really but I saw so much good stuff so I'm going back right now because today is one of my more chill days I'm going back I'm gonna check it out and I'm actually gonna film and take you guys with me today since we're going early so let me get dressed and then get in we're going shopping all right you guys got myself together I'm wearing this acne 
uh, like t-shirt. It's like a brushed cotton. It's so soft. Um, I got it from Farfetch before I left New York, like right, right after New York Fashion Week. And I love it. I've been wearing it nonstop. I wore it on the plane. I had it washed. But look, in the back it has this little acne tag. But it's just so cozy. And you guys know I love acne. Um, I'm gonna toss on my Saint Laurent jacket. And a lot of you have been loving this jacket. I posted my first photo in it from Milan and all of you said it was a great buy and I agree. And I will be wearing it every single day. It's a little nippy today in Paris. So yeah, I also love that this has like an inside pocket so I can put like my passport and everything in there. When you're shopping internationally, you have to have your passport on you if you want to get like your vet back. And the great thing about uh, like shopping malls like Printon and Galleries Lafayette is that they have a tax place inside, like inside the store so that you, as soon as you buy something, you get the receipt, you take it to the VAT refund kiosk and you get your money back right then and right there. It's amazing. Or the refund back because you know, if you are not from the, this country, you don't have to pay taxes on items and you get that refunded. So yeah, putting this on. It's not even sunny, so I'm not going to take a sunglass. But let me show you the full look. I do have a full length mirror, which I love about this hotel. And we'll be off. Okay, so hopefully you can see me. But I'm just wearing my Saint Laurent jacket, this acne t-shirt, and this beautiful gray. It's like a brush cotton, super comfy and cozy. Um, the leggings are from Uniqlo. I've been wearing them nonstop during Milan and Paris Fashion Week. Um, they just come in handy. You just toss them on and you go. Um, and then again, my Fendi slides. That is the look for a quick bit of browsing, shopping. We're going to stop at Galleries Lafayette first. Then I think we're going to come back here and get Maria. Um, and then Printon. And then we're going to come back and do some work. Because your girl got to make some money because I'm spending a lot of it. <laughs> but yeah, let's go shopping.
All right, guys, made it to Galleries Lafayette's rooftop. The terrace is only open during certain hours, and it's so hot up here. Like, this weather in Paris is incredible. It's beautiful. You can see the Eiffel Tower there off in the distance. But yeah, it's so sunny, I can't even see you guys. And I'm not sure if you can see me. But lots of amazing shopping here at Galleries Lafayette. They do have a Joe the Juice in here, just in case you guys are wondering. So if you love Joe the Juice, they have one here. Um, and I think I'm gonna head over to Printon now. Printon is a little more hip with like, you know, newer, more contemporary, um, designers whereas galleries lafayette really has the gamut of everything from kids to men there are men's stores as well i'm in the women's store but it's such a beautiful day maria is here she's settling in um and i just wanted to check in with you all i bought a few things maybe i'll show you one or two things later but i'm trying to save everything for the video where i show you everything i bought during fashion month so it's nice and jam-packed and long all right so let's head over to Printon, do a little shopping there and then i have an event that i'll take you guys with me to it's a book signing louis vuitton i mean invited me and then we may pop over to a unique low party there's a few really cool restaurants around the hotel some of them are like japanese and asian cuisine and i'm kind of fiending for that so maybe we'll go there for dinner all right let's go really quickly because we're gonna try and shoot some content so that once the week gets pretty busy you know I have content I also need to shoot a few projects um, so today I just ended up going to Galleries Lafayette I had a wonderful shopping experience there and got a few things and then I went to Printemps and I went to the top floor um, that's where they have their secondhand and vintage things and I found out about that the last time I was here and they have some really good pieces lots of Jean-Paul Gaultier um, I ended up finding a bag from Saint Laurent that's kind of in store now but sold out for a really good deal so I ended up buying that yeah so tonight we're heading to a little book signing that I was invited to by Louis Vuitton and then a little uh, like store opening, I believe, for a UD Clo. And then I'm gonna grab some dinner. So the lip is MVP by Fenty Beauty. So good, perfect red. And once we start shooting, I'll show you guys 
some behind the scenes. And then we will head out. Trying to catch a little bit of the light. Like it gets a little bit dark here pretty early. So actually the sun is already kind of set, but it's fine. We have flash. Got to put on a little bit more of the Dior Rosy Glow in Cherry. You guys know I love this stuff. You can use my code on row 23 for a free gift with purchase over $125 at Dior. Okay, let's get it together. Hope you enjoy the shoot. We're just going to shoot around the hotel and around like the street over here, but I'm excited. First pieces of content from Paris. Let's do it. that content we shot this stunning yellow jacquemus dress that i've had for a while in fact the first time i ever wore it was here in paris for my magazine i used to have a, a digital and print magazine called steel magazine i had it for about two years before my printers got shut down because of COVID, and then i just kind of let it go but yes i wore that with my saint laurent jacket sandals bag and sunglasses and Bottega earrings here at the hotel. It, the pictures came out great. I'm very excited about those. And then we shot a little campaign for Ukes. I already showed you guys those Marnie pieces, the striped uh, sweater and the thick knit Marnie skirt with the peplum at the bottom. That skirt just moves so beautifully. And for the accessories, I paired it with these super old Tamara Melon sandals and my white Dior bag and Bottega glasses. So that's what we shot really quickly. Um, and I'm, I'm very happy with the content. So now we are getting ourselves together to head to a book signing. Now I was invited to, oh, can you see me? Can you see me? Maybe the light is better here, a little bit better. So I was invited to this event by the Louis, Louis Vuitton team. Um, so I just want to make sure that I show up and kind of get some face time with the team. I don't believe I've ever met anyone from the team in person. So this will be great for me. Um, so the book signing is by Fantastical Jewels Publication. And so that should be fun. It's at uh, Palace Vendome, which is really cool, a, a, a pretty cool area. So I'm going to shoot this look over here. I mean over there and then we may go to this unique little party it's like a store opening and then we're gonna have dinner and then we're meeting karen and her husband michael for drinks tonight which should be great so makeup is the same i'm maybe gonna refresh my lip a bit but i'm wearing the outfit that you all saw in the previous video this is the cos top it's the uh perforated sweater in brown this is in a size medium a few of you reached out and asked me what size I got I got the medium and I paired it with these brown hat shorts my brown YSL sandals and of course we have to show love for the Louis team so I'm wearing this bag that I got from Rebag I've been working with them all fashion month long to top off the look and I also have these brown Bottega sunglasses so it's literally all brown, everything. 
I'll probably do a gold um, earring just because the hardware is gold on my bag. But I love this look. I'm trying to figure out if I should wear my hair up or down, but I think down is more casual since it's just, you know, a book signing. So we'll shoot this and I'll show you guys behind the scenes. And then we will head out to the first official event for us for Paris Fashion Week. The actual shows don't kick off until tomorrow. So today it's just a few pre-Fashion Week events. Let's go. guys just leaving the book signing with Francesca who is the creative director of jewelry at Louis Vuitton she does their watches as well as their jewelry so now that was really cool they actually gave us the book and she signed it for us and I also ran into Candace there she is a New York City content creator she does a lot of travel stunning content hair beauty fashion all the things she's amazing so now we're headed to the unique clothes store opening sorry about the red light um, and then I think we're gonna try and find a meal, but that was really cool. Glad I have this book. I'll show it to you guys more in depth probably tomorrow or a little bit later. By the way, my bag was a hit. Everybody loves this bag. So I am of course keeping it. So you won't be able to buy it from Rebag. <laughs> but I'll try and find a few and link them down below for you all. We went to a book signing with Louis Vuitton, which was great. Francesca, it was wonderful. Ran into some familiar faces. Then we headed to the Uniqlo grand opening, which was pretty much in and out. Grabbed a champagne, checked it out, left. <laughs> and we ended up going to this Thai restaurant right around the corner from the hotel. It's pretty good. Um, the price was great for both of our meals. It came up to 44 euros, which isn't bad. Now we are back in the room. I am about to take this makeup off, take this outfit off, climb into my bed, and answer some emails because now we are pretty much midday um, East Coast time. I think it's about two in the afternoon in New York and in Miami, and it's about nine o'clock here. So yeah, very eventful first day of Paris Fashion Week. Tomorrow we are gonna hit the ground running and I will check in with you guys then. Hi guys, it is a brand new day here in Paris and the first official day of Paris Fashion Week for me. We are heading to a show today and two presentations. We have CFCL, which I've gone to pretty much every season since I've started vlogging. Um, they do a lot with like crinkle and like pleated materials, which is cool. A lot of recycled materials as well. They are a sustainable brand, so it should be a wonderful show. It's always very interesting. Um, and then we are heading to the folklore 
uh, like presentation showroom where there are emerging designers and I know Bruce Glenn will be there again they're traveling all around so excited to see them in every city New York Milan and Paris and then of course we're heading to famed French designer Barbara Bui her presentation we go every season and everything is just so chic so quintessentially Parisian uh, I think you guys will love it so yeah we have breakfast this morning um, and I just got myself together for the show. Of course, I am wearing um, one of my favorite tops here and skirts. You would have seen this in the Preparing for Fashion Month video. Uh, but I'll give you guys a full look as soon as we get out on the street. But we're running just a tiny bit late, so I'm going to go ahead and call the Uber. But I didn't get a chance to show you guys the book yesterday. Uh, Francesca uh fantastical jewels again she is the creative director for jewelry and hand watches at louis vuitton and she was just so sweet and nice and she signed the book for me darling monroe with love francesca she was amazing and i also got to see candace who is marie um, mag on instagram there as well she's killing the game like she looks amazing. All of her content is just stunning. It's editorial worthy. So definitely check her out if you haven't. But yeah, such a beautiful book, a heavy book. Thinking about how I'm gonna pack all of this. My suitcase is already at the maximum, but it has all of the jewelry pieces inside. I'm figuring all of the jewelry pieces she had a hand in creating. So yeah, a nice little souvenir from Paris. I'll link this down below if it's available. Great coffee table book all right we're gonna head out i'm gonna spray on a little brown girl jane and we're gonna head to the first presentation got my brown girl jane here in casablanca casablanca and dusk are my favorite brown girl jane fragrances and you can check them out black girl business love it and then i'm gonna carry this bag which you haven't seen it's new i bought this yesterday at uh printong they have a vintage uh consignment pre-loved designer space on the very top floor they also have a is it monica jewelry uh like little bar upstairs as well. no messica messica jewelry bar as well on the top floor outside where you can see the eiffel tower so check it out but yeah i have this in yellow i brought it from rebag and i saw that this was on sale there and it is pre-loved, but it's in wonderful condition, the Saint Laurent bag. And I wanted one in black, so now I have one. And the price was immaculate, but we'll get into that in my What I Bought During Fashion Month video. All right, guys, let's go to the first show of Paris Fashion Week. Bonjour. 
so we just went to the first show of fashion week for in paris which is for me always cfcl they always kind of open up paris um they're known for sustainability so they do a lot of knits with um like reclaimed fabrics which is great um and so this show was a little bit different like there was a lot more like wearable pieces they did a lot of knits with little bits in between that are kind of see-through they always do that throughout their collection so lots of sweaters with stripes and one portion of the stripe is like a see-through um they had a really cute black sweater like that that i really enjoyed they also did a lot of dresses and they also included an element of sequins look everybody's doing the renaissance thing it's beyonce runs the world for real for real they had these silver fringe sequins but they were long that they put on shirts that they wore under the blazer so they would peek out throughout the sleeves and also and dresses with um on top of like a sheer fabric super flowy i love the pink set they had a pink almost like wool like jacket with a top and a matching skirt and i think the girl even had on like a pink and yellow sneaker which was fly um but i love the styling of the show all of the pieces super wearable it's very simple but very elevated and chic so if you've never heard of cfcl check them out they are available on essence.com um and they're a very affordable brand as well so i highly enjoyed the show and i hope you did too so of course we're heading to lunch now my favorite place Shea prune it's over in uh the, the 10th or the 9th over by Canal St. Martin. So we're gonna eat and then we're gonna head to two more presentations. All right guys, change of plans. We're heading to Lulu restaurant. I think it's Italian. And we're meeting Amira. I met her in Milan and we celebrated her birthday, but she's here in Paris as well. So we're meeting her for lunch. We'll go to Chez Prune, my favorite restaurant, tomorrow. We have a lot like more free time during the day anyway. The, the only thing about Chez Prune is they stop serving lunch at three. So you have to get there between 12 and three to get hot food. Any other time, no food for you. So make note of this when you guys visit Paris. All right, I'm ready to eat. And then I think we're gonna head to the next few presentations together as well. And of course, Maria is here. I don't know if, did we introduce Maria into the vlog? I'm not sure, but she's here. Present. <laughs> present. Her presence is my present, okay? <laughs> I like how you spent that. You know, I do something every now and then. Every now. All right, so we're here over by the Louvre, so maybe we'll pop over there. and it was wonderful one of the best meals I've had in Paris definitely check it out look at this little lamp look at this little sink all right we're heading to folklore now to check out a few presentations of emerging designers um, and we'll be out here
Hi guys, back to the room. It's been a long day, but very eventful and very fruitful. Uh, I already gave you a little synopsis of CFCL, great show. Uh, afterwards, we went to lunch at Lulu Restaurant, which is right over by the Louvre. And it was great. I never even knew that that restaurant was there. It's further down, like closer to the museum. Um, but it was wonderful. They had outdoor seating. The food is actually really delicious. We got the pasta, vodka pasta. Blew my mind. And I love vodka pasta. Uh, so that was really good. I think we got the sea bass. That was delicious. The salad was really good. Like literally everything we ate, they had a little... Um, calamari everything was delicious so i'm glad we ended up meeting up with my girl amira there she's here working i also got to meet um the designer for the pants that i wore that you guys love so much the pleated pants i can't remember her uh name but i'll put her instagram handle down below she's very fashionable i follow her on instagram um i think it's jeanette or Something like that. I don't want to mess it up, but she's amazing. It was nice meeting her in person. And she said those pleated pants are coming back in different colors. So make sure to check her out. Uh, after that, we went and checked out the Folklore Showroom, which was mainly um, designers of the African diaspora um, who were showing. A lot of people from Ghana showing. Oh, Bruce Glenn was there as well showing their collection they're making their rounds and the pieces were stunning and then after that we headed over to barbara Bui, who i go to every year she's quintessentially french everything super tailored very chic very minimal with little twists like on the back of her jackets and on the back of her tops there's like a silver dagger which is really cool um there was a, a few leather pieces as well with cap shoulders like leather vests which are gonna be huge next season um also inside the vest were cute little photos and pictures that only the wearer would see so it's like those little details that are really cool i also loved the bags and the shoes she did a lot more shoes and bags than i've seen in her previous collections but all of these pieces you can interchange you can wear with things already in your closet lots of expert tailoring and just so you look very chic and smart and put together i also really loved the pink three-piece suit with the top the blazer and the pant so good so yeah that was wonderful and now we are back in the room there is a possibility that we might go out tonight and so i'm gonna try and power through some work get some reels together and get everything kind of edited for the next couple of days so that we can maybe go out and have some fun tonight we might go to Soho House. Like, look, I, I'm just along for the ride at this point. I don't know what's happening, okay? Tomorrow we have a pretty light day. We don't have anything into the afternoon as far as shows and presentations. So now I get to relax and I'm so happy. I didn't tell you guys about the outfit, but everything is linked down below. You've seen this skirt from my Teresa. I wore my little fur. Uh, Marco Di Vincenzo sandals. And of course... My favorite tops. I have so many of them from my Teresa. I'm about to take this off, hop in the shower because I feel disgusting. It was hot today and I've been sweating. Um, I didn't know Paris was gonna be hot like this, but it's hot. Anywho, I will check back in with you guys later on, but if you are enjoying the video thus far, do not forget, don't leave. Give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell. I'll check back in with you guys soon. Hi guys, so we have chilled a bit and now we are ready to head to dinner. We're going to Costa's Cost. I'm not sure how to pronounce it y'all, but it's one of the most famous restaurants here in Paris. I'll figure out, I'll ask someone tonight at the restaurant how it's pronounced. But our hotel got us a reservation. So it's wonderful. We've I've been trying to get reservations here every time I come because it's one of my favorite restaurants. The last time I was there with my girl Rhea, we ended up seeing Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. So yeah, we're going tonight. We're gonna meet um, Amira there as well. Um, I will show you the look. I've worn it before, just never styled this way. And I'll take you guys with me, all right? Let's go to dinner.
Yara Shahidi was standing next to me in line. The line is crazy, okay? It's bananas. But we're gonna stand and we're gonna wait because we're hungry. Hello everyone, it is a brand new day. You guys, last night was epic. <laughs> um, we ended up getting a reservation at Coast. Uh, we actually had our hotel concierge call for, for us to make reservations. Um, that is, oh, it's sounding real Harlem in Paris right now. That is what I would suggest you all do if you're trying to get into that restaurant. It works out much easier um, and we got a reservation on our first go I actually had them call every day because you can only make reservations the day of but it was popping last night so many celebrities in there Yara was in there um, Jared Leto I believe was in there one of the Jared's um, a lot of models just it was the place to be last night and yeah there were a lot of people there in fact there was a line for the people who had reservations but it's pretty cool. We waited for about half an hour and they sat us down and we had an incredible meal. My girl Amira met us there. Um, get the spicy lobster pasta. It's delicious. I had the lamb. It was okay. I've had better. I would definitely get something else. The crudo was A1. So delicious. Um, that's what I would recommend. So we got home pretty late. We did a little bit of shooting around in that outfit around that area. Got home pretty late, did a little bit of work, and literally crashed. So this morning I went down, I had breakfast, got myself together in this full Dries look. I'll show it to you soon, but I'm wearing a Dries top, Dries pants, uh, Christian Dior sunglasses. These were gifted by Elegant Eyes. The earrings are Swarovski. They come in a, a bunch of fun different colors. The lip is Dior Lip Glow Oil in Rosemary. I did a fun little eye today too. I don't know if you can see, but I did like a yellow eye to kind of match the bits of yellow. And then for the shoes, I went with my Magda Boutram Rose Heels. These have come in so handy. They are very comfortable. Um, I'm thinking about getting another pair for sure. So I'm gonna head to a show, Undercover. I went to the same show last season. It was where I saw uh, Tiga was there, Tyga was there avril lavigne was there it should be a good show um and then i have a presentation with votre votre i hope i'm saying that correctly and then I hopefully get some lunch shoot this look um head back to the hotel shoot another look and then we're done for today tomorrow is very chill the day after is very chill we're also changing rooms in this hotel tomorrow so you'll be able to see a different room. This is the junior suite with the two bedrooms. I think we're moving into just a regular suite, which I've never actually stayed in. I've stayed here a few times and I'm trying to stay in different rooms so you guys can experience all of them. But yeah, we're moving into a new room tomorrow. We have a few things tomorrow and then I'm gonna end out the vlog tomorrow and start another Paris vlog. But you're not gonna wanna miss the second half of the vlog. Like some of y'all watch the first New York City vlog and then you don't watch the second one for Fashion Week. That's where all the gems are. Like that's when you really get into the meat of the shows and such, what people are wearing and all the good stuff. So if you haven't watched the New York Fashion Vlog 2, go and watch that because only about half of you have watched that versus New York 1. Uh, okay, so I will show you guys a little bit of this look and we will head to the shows and of course I will take you guys with me. Let's go.
guys so just leaving the undercover show it was way different than it was last season last season it was a lot more like dark and heavy and very moody um this season it was very just light and fresh i'm guessing because it's spring summer um lots of chiffons beautiful flowing fabrics like chiffon attached to blazers attached to pants tailored blazers and tailored pants with chiffon um i even saw a moto jacket that they did like a leather moto jacket with chiffon draped over it they did a lot of like chiffon little head covers that was really cool i also love the shoes they did a patent leather lace-up a uh, platform sandal and you guys know i love a flat form so they did like a round toe flat form in brown black and i believe gray um but the heel was actually lucite even though it was a flat form and i've never seen that done before that's really really cool i feel like those shoes are going to be it next season um and then to close out the show they did like a, a bulb mini skirt but the bulb part of the mini skirt was lit from within it was like a light and uh it had like <laughs> roses and flowers inside and also live butterflies almost like i don't know a lifescape it was really cool um and there were also some ruffled pieces that everything in the front was ruffled everything in the back was like a satin and it has little faces and prints on it it was just a really cool show and i enjoyed it uh so now uh we we're not going to be able to make the presentation we are starving so we're going to head to uh the royal garden and probably shoot this look and grab some dinner and i think that might be it for today but glad i came out to this show and it was wonderful <laughs> Alright guys, just got finished shooting in the Royal Gardens, this look, and now we're walking over to the restaurant. I cannot pronounce it, but I went there the last time I was here and it was really good. I went for lunch and it says that they're open for dinner, so hopefully they have a space because we are starving. As you can see over here, they're setting up for a show. Not sure what show it is, but the runway is very long. It goes the length of the whole park almost, so it should be cool. So we're gonna eat and we're gonna relax for the rest of the day. How beautiful and green the garden is compared to when I was here last time. it is a brand new day um yesterday we did the undercover show which was amazing i already recapped it for you all and then we had dinner at villa Vilis. i'm probably saying it wrong he taught me how to say it and of course i have forgotten but again another great meal in paris uh i'm gonna have to make a list because everywhere we've eaten so far has actually been really really good and it's hard to find delicious cuisine in paris for me hmm don't debate me anywho we are checking out of this beautiful junior suite and we are checking into another room um this hotel was extremely booked but for paris fashion week so i couldn't get the entire time um, so we're moving into a new room and I'll give you guys a room tour once we get in there but we are heading to Gaucher followed by a perfume uh, presentation at Louis Vuitton so again I'm back in my earrings and of course I'm gonna carry my new little I think it's called a Tupi bag so you know I can represent the brand that you know 
thank them for inviting me to these events during Paris. So it should be a fun day. This will be the last day of the Paris one vlog and then I'm gonna start another vlog. The next one will be a lot more chill, more shopping. I wanna go vintage shopping and take you guys with me. We might go to the Paris outlets. I believe we have a few more shows and presentations every day. Um, we're gonna shoot around Paris, probably go to the Louvre, the Eiffel Tower. Um, and so yeah, the second half will be, you know, more culture, more fashion with a sprinkle of fashion, okay? Uh, I mean, with a sprinkle of like fashion shows. So yeah, if you're enjoying the video thus far, give your girl a thumbs up. Here's my look for today. Of course, I'm gonna insert some clips of the look, but I bought this from Galleries Lafayette on my first day here. It's by the brand Dow Wei, I believe. I'll link it down below. I'm probably butchering the name, but it's a beautiful wool bustier and matching skirt. And I thought this would be perfect for Gaucher and my event with Louis Vuitton today. I mean, of course, I have on my JLo Promise perfume. A lot of you bought it, you love it, I love it too. Maybe we'll see if we'll find something new at the Louis Vuitton um, perfume presentation today. All right, guys, let's go.
Hi guys, so I actually dropped my camera and the screen shattered, but the camera's still working, so thank goodness. We have, we went to the Louvre. We actually went to the Saint Laurent Cafe. Um, that was cool. And we went to the Tuileries and sat out at a fountain for a bit before grabbing some content over by the Louvre. And then afterwards we headed to the um, Louis Vuitton perfume presentation and it was wonderful. We learned so much about how they created the different fragrances and places that they went to get the materials for the fragrances. Um, it was a lovely experience. It was at the Louis Vuitton headquarters here in Paris on the top floor. So there were sweeping views of Paris. I also ran into my girl Nuri um, here on YouTube as well as Karen Britchick at the event and we got to speak. Um, we They moved us to a new room. So I wanted to give you guys a quick tour. This room is a little smaller. I believe it's a deluxe room. Has two windows here, a little desk. We do have a fireplace and a bit of a closet here, which is nice. A little coffee maker, chair, huge bed. Um, here we have a little place where you can store your clothes and things and then we have this really long hallway which I totally missed the bathroom when coming in but I'm assuming it's somewhere around <laughs> it's somewhere around here oh here we go so right when you come in is the restroom and it's nice we have a nice shower and bath a little sink here so this room is a little smaller than the last room so if you are just one person and you're looking for a room, the deluxe suite is a good recommendation. So yeah, I am gonna change out of this outfit, which everyone loved today, by the way. It, it was a look, it was a moment. I'm glad that I purchased this from Galleries Lafayette. And we are actually gonna head over to Galleries Lafayette and have some an early dinner. We're starving and probably do a little bit of shopping. I think I want to stop in Cartier and buy a fragrance. When I went the other day and I got a little something, um, I smelled it and it smells so good, so I think I want it. So I'm gonna clean my face of makeup, put on some chill clothes, and then we are going to head to Galleries Lafayette. Of course, I'll take you guys with me, but so far it's been a very eventful day. I am having an amazing time in Paris, and yeah, we're going to start a new vlog uh, this evening, well, tomorrow. All right, guys, if you're enjoying the video thus far, give it a little thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. All right, I will check in soon. Oh, wait, I forgot to show you guys. When we left the event, they gave us a little gift. It's a beautiful bouquet of flowers. And I'm pretty sure these flowers are in their latest fragrance. Smells amazing, so beautiful. But yeah, shout out to Louis Vuitton for inviting me to this event. I really enjoyed it. All right guys, check in soon. All right guys, that was Maria giving you <laughs> a, a quick show. Uh, we're gonna head out, get something to eat. Maybe jump into Galleries Lafayette for a, a quick item. This is my look. I'm wearing this t-shirt from And Other Stories. It's an oversized t-shirt. I wore it during New York Fashion Week with some blue striped pants. Right now it's my favorite t-shirt. It's amazing quality. Saint Laurent jacket. I got back on my Uniqlo tights, Fendi slides. Let's go. Just had a lovely early dinner at 
either Yora or Yara. It is one of the Peruvian restaurants at um, Galleries Lafayette Gourmet. They have literally everything your heart can desire in there. I've been there a ton. It's right around the corner from the hotel. And yeah, it was delicious. What did we get? What is it called? Lobo Saltando. It's basically beef with like sauteed vegetables and like a vinegary type of sauce with rice and potatoes and it's so good. Um, so now what I have to do is go to an internet cafe or some place with high speed internet so I can download uh, the first or the only Milan vlog for you guys and get it up. Uh, the internet here is pretty decent if you're just on your phone or you're surfing the internet. But if you're downloading large files or uploading large files to YouTube, it just cannot compute. <laughs> so um, we're going to walk around the corner to uh, a cafe that Karen recommended. And we're going to get a little bit of work done and call it a night. But I'm going to go ahead and end off this first Paris Fashion Week vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. Every place I went, everything I did, all the things I wore. Um, are linked down below in the description bar. Uh, there is another Paris Fashion Week vlog coming. That one's going to be more shopping, more culture, vintage shopping, you know, seeing the sights when we haven't really done that yet. And a little bit of fashion shows as well. So please watch that one too. And if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned for the next one. Uh, bonsoir.